what the fuck? So yeah, we're about to start episode four of Life is Strange. Like, this is crazy. It's weird hanging out with you again. I know. I'm glad we are, though. It was nice that you sent me actual letters. It's more than any of my other friends have done. And you even wrote on that cool parchment paper. It's so Max. So pretentious. But I love writing on it like an English poet. You deserve the best stationery. Probably easier to write than to visit me. I don't mean that in a bitchy way. Not totally. You probably wanted to avoid awkward conversations like this. Uh, pretty much, yeah. Look, the worst thing you can do is treat me like a baby. I still want to laugh and talk shit with my best friend. Can we stop? This is seriously the best view of the sunset. What do photographers call that? The golden hour. See? Without you here, I'd have no clue. Bet you could take some amazing shots. Those beached whales are so sad. I kind of know how they feel. At least, I'm alive here with you. You're a real survivor, Chloe. I know you what happened so much. I don't want anybody else feeling sorry for me. I can do that. Along with my parents. My dad still feels guilty about buying me that car. Are you okay to talk about the accident? We never actually have, huh? There's not much to say. Some prick in an SUV cut me off and I flew into a ditch. Do you remember everything? I saw everything in bullet time. I felt my back snap and... <laughs> and that was the last thing I ever felt in my body. When I woke up in the hospital, I literally couldn't move a muscle. Jesus. So it was either her dad getting I, into an accident or her. Say. Don't say anything. I'm just happy I did get to see you again. I could have ended up vanishing out of the blue like that girl from Blackwell. I'm gonna say what missing girl because what if what Rachel- What missing girl? I don't know her name. I just read about it in the news. I feel bad for her family. This is such a different world than when we were kids, isn't it? After that snow and eclipse, it's more like the end of the world. Don't say that. I'm not trying to bum you out. It just seems like Arcadia Bay is having a meltdown. I know things seem out of control, but as long as we're together, I don't feel afraid. Hanging out with you makes me feel like a total kid again. You don't even know. Listen, Chloe, I'm sorry I haven't been out to see you more. That was wrong. You're my best friend. Max, thanks for coming out to see me. You're, you're doing awesome. I don't think so. Um, my, my nose is getting cold. Maybe we should get back to my place? It is hella cold out here. Hella? I hate that word, no offense. <laughs> None taken. Cause this way at least she still has her dad, but It's a 
pretty high tech way. It was like a high tech cell. But I am lucky my parents bust their ass to take care of me. I know it's hard for them. They're grateful you are here with them. Right. Especially when they can't even take a walk alone. Sometimes I act like a total teenage brat just to give them an excuse to yell at me. Pathetic, I know. Chloe, you're a great daughter. You're kind and sensitive when you don't even have to be. Trust me, I still get my rage on. Especially when a nurse has to watch while I take a dump so she can wipe my bum. Or when doctors flip me around like I was a science doll. I can't even imagine. Mm. But you're still amazing. You always have been since we were kids. Thanks again to get my drink on. Um, can you can you bring me some water? With water, no. Oh, there it is. I was about to say. Oh, man. Yeah, I think this is worse too, Chrissy. No wonder my throat is dry. I don't think I've talked this much the whole year. Have you ever thought about doing a podcast or something? I wish I could punch your face right now. A podcast? Dude, I am a pod in a cast. Boring. Ouch. It was just a thought. I know you're just trying to help. <sighs> yeah, that's become a bad habit of mine. You sound like an adult now. It seems like we were kids in another life. What do you remember about us as kids? We all have different memories. I think about us as little pirates running and jumping through Arcadia Bay. Me too. But we're still pirates in our own way. Uh, yeah, right. Check me out, Chloe of the Caribbean. No way will I get on a fucking boat now. Unless you're with me. As you can see, I can't keep all my other friends away. You have me. I'm not leaving you, Chloe. Well, you didn't visit me a lot either. I mean, I loved your cards and photos, but... I know I wasn't around much. No excuses. I'm a loser. But I am... Trying to make things right. How? Dude, you're not Supermax. And I'm not trying to guilt trip you. That's what my parents are for. Are they okay? I mean, are they still happy together and everything? So now you're Dr. Bill? I guess they're good, considering they have to deal with me. They laugh and hold hands. And I hope they still get busy too. What? I think Joyce and William are incredible. Max, the accident has been so hard on them. Our insurance sucks and the medical bills are fucking insane. I bet. This tech must be crazy expensive. Along with the drugs, the nurses, the supplies. Mom and dad are always broke and they get so I was about to say, I don't see how this could be the better outcome. Chloe, you're priceless. Uh, no pun intended. <laughs> you are such a geek. That's why I love you. Of course, I know a geek when I be one. See, I'm practically a human entertainment system. It would be sweet to chill out together and watch a movie like when you'd spend the night at my house. <laughs> What do you want to watch? Uh, I think I'm in like a, a mellow Blade Runner mood. I always cry at the end. Plus, you know, I always wanted to have cool colored bangs like Pris. I know. You would look incredible with blue hair. Now let's get this show on the road. And you better not fall asleep on me like you always do when we watch movies. I remember, Max. I swear I won't fall asleep. Not when you're here. Not yet.
she has to use a lot of lotion to keep her blood circulating. Whoa, Chloe can totally control her computer. It's so great people get this high-tech help. Thanks. I uh, think you missed a grain stuck in my eyeball. <laughs> Hard to believe how just a little sand can cause such a big... A spark can start a fire that burns the entire prairie. You know, like the butterfly thing. <laughs> So I've heard. That must be her mighty morphine machine. No more bongs for her. Man, Joyce and William built a whole new bathroom for Chloe. They're so great. It's nice my parents sent a card at least. I wonder who this is. Kind of a generic card. I wasn't very available to Chloe. Real nice. At least I sent road trip selfies to Chloe. I'm sure that made her feel great. I don't think so. Like, you sitting there cheesing why you can do all these things and... I still can't believe I put Chloe in that chair. Snow globes are taking over. Max, it is so cool that you're here again. I'm glad you think. Does Chloe look at the garden and think about her childhood? She can't even feel the grass now. Oh, man. She has to use that ventilator just to breathe. At least Chloe doesn't weigh that much. Despite everything, they're still a happy family again. It's cool that in this reality, Chloe really loves skating too. Aha, here's the DVD. Oh. Wait, did she not did she not fall asleep? <coughs> I cannot believe you fell asleep so fast. How dare you? I know you were beat down after the day with me, and Blade Runner is a pretty dreamy movie to watch at night. Uh, do you do you think Deckard is a replicant? Sorry, I can see you're not wide awake like me. No, I'm sorry I crashed so hard. Were you okay? I do have a mother and father when you're not falling asleep on me. You are a bitch in the morning. It's the company I keep. Cool. Yesterday was such a blast. It was great seeing you. I know things were different when we were just dorky kids, but being with you made me feel like when we were little pirates jumping and running through the forests again. It meant a lot 
to me just to chill out with you and, and bullshit. <sighs> Fuck. Um, I'm getting my regular head pains. Uh, can you pretty please go upstairs and get my, my morphine injector in the bathroom? Morphine injector? It's, uh, it's total Star Trek shit. You can't even see the needle. Seriously, I, I need it. Mm. Um, my parents keep this wag upstairs because they think I can't get to it. But you can, Max. Like a pirate, right? I'm on it, Chloe. These bills should all just say, Dear sir, you are screwed. Damn. Not the bathroom. That's crazy. I'm still overwhelmed by this new reality. I feel so guilty for putting Chloe and her family through this. I mean, I, if she, if she I needed it. the choice of keeping William alive, but that would be cruel. But then I see that they're a family again, and who am I to judge? At least we never had to hide from step douche. A blue butterfly? I'm sure this is a total coincidence. Too bad Joyce and William so can't cash get any help from the Prescott Foundation. They bought crutches for Chloe, hoping she might walk again. Boys, I kind of want to open this and see what's in here. Shoes. <laughs> Chloe always did love stomping around in her... I never heard much about William's brother. It is so nice to have you around. Oh no. I didn't realize how bad Chloe's entry really was. Good morning, Max. Oh, you and Chloe are so much quieter now than when you were kids. I remember. It's nice waking up in your house again. Oh, William and I love it. Finally seeing you and Chloe together after all these years. After the accident. I wish I was a better friend. I know Chloe doesn't get many visitors. Oh, Max. You're Chloe's best friend for a reason. You're here exactly when she needs you. I'm having a good day. I hope so. You guys do such an amazing job taking care of her. We can only do so much, and she gets damn sick of her parents. <laughs> That's why it's so important you came to spend time with her. Max, Chloe's condition is not improving. Her respiratory system is very weak, and she... She... Do you know what I'm saying? Oh, Joyce. I'm 
I'm so sorry you have to go through all this. Bad or good, I embrace every moment with my daughter and my husband. This is what it means to be a family. And right, that is weird. I mean. No matter what. How are you doing, Joyce? I'm doing the best I can, Max. I won't lie, it's difficult, but nobody said life was easy here in Arcadia Bay. Do you know somebody named David Madsen? He, um, might hang out at the two wheels. Well, that was random. Yeah, he's a, a bus driver. He comes in sometimes. Cute, quiet. Why? Oh, um, I, w I was just curious. You always were. Nice to see that everything doesn't change. Plus, you guys have to work, too. Ah, uh, Bill and I have no time for ourselves. We're working more than we're living. I even had to take a part-time gig at Pan Estates. Ugh. Do you know the Prescotts? I know that Sean Prescott won't be happy until he owns everything in Arcadia Bay. Stay away from his son, Nathan. So, what do you think is going on here with all of this eco-havoc? Maybe Arcadia Bay just wants to be left alone. I know the feeling. Honestly, I don't give a shit about too much outside our house. I don't blame you, Joyce. Except now we have dead birds and beach whales outside our front door. So maybe I should care, for Chloe's sake. I better get back to Chloe now. It's good talking with you, Joyce. You too, honey. Dare I look in this door? Joyce is already a super mom. <laughs> Just looking through this shit. That is such a sweet shot of Chloe. I wonder who took the picture. Look at them. They have no idea what's in their future. It's good for Chloe to stay in touch with her friends. Nothing here. It's cool that Chloe uses natural medicine too. Here it is. I never thought I'd be delivering morphine to my best friend. Finally, uh, give me the blue pill. I'm sorry, I'm nosy, but not precise. Go ahead and plug it right in. It's so easy and painless. Um, okay, but get ready to yell for your folks if I screw up. Oh, trust me, I will. Of course, my pain just keeps getting worse, but you caught me on a good day. Max, I'm so grateful that I'm even able to hang out with you. See, I'm getting mushy. I'm already high. <laughs> You're so adorable. Do you want anything else? Um, stop me if I'm being too emo. But can you grab one of the photo albums over there? I'd like to check out some old pictures of us when we were kids. 
please. My diary is like emo ground zero. Plus, Max Caulfield does not pass up a photo op with Chloe Price. Ever. Despite everything, there's still a happy I definitely went again. for the photo album, but okay. Is that okay? Perfect. Oh my god. Look how little we are there. We look like toys. I remember that day by the lighthouse. My dad was pissed at us. He actually tried to give us a time out. And you laughed at him. <laughs> I went too. Me. Whoa, awesome picture. How many of your parents actually gave y'all time out? Like we should have taken over Arcadia Bay when we had the chance. There's still time for you. Our parents just was threatening to give us beatings. Oh, I don't. Man. I know that don't sound don't sound any better. Picks. I love that shot of us. It's hard to believe my dad took that picture only five years ago. Literally seems like yesterday. I wish it was. Me too. This photo. Maybe I could <gasps> change it back. Listen, Max. My respiratory system is failing, and uh, and it's only getting worse. I've heard the doctors talking about it when they thought I was zonked out. So, I know I'm just putting off the inevitable while my parents suffer along and I will too this isn't how I want things to end what? what are you saying? I'm saying that being with you again has been so special I just wanted to feel like when we were kids running around Arcadia Bay and everything was possible and you made me feel that way today I want this to Oh no, you. she better not ask me to do this. My last memory. You understand? Yes, I do. All you have to do is crank up the IV to 11. I really don't know if I can do this. I had another friend who w wanted to end it all, and I did everything I could to try and save her life. How can I be responsible for ending yours? I mean, th there's got to be another way. Max, you were there for your friend, no matter what. Now I'm asking you to help me the same way. I want to help you, Chloe, but I, th I think my help is hurting. At least you have a choice. When you want to make a decision, you can just do it. Look at me. I'm at the mercy of everybody. For once, I want to make my own choice. The most important one of my life. Please, help me, Max. But like everything has a consequence. What if they say I killed her? Like she wanted it, but what if they say I killed her? But then if I refuse, then she's gonna be mad. Chloe, I'll just drift asleep, dreaming of us here together. 
forever. Thank you so much. I'm so proud of you for following your dreams. Don't forget about me. Never. I love you, Max. See you around. Sooner than you think. Well, I didn't know I was going to rewind with the picture pink. Someday Dad will get one of them newfangled computers. I hope the flash didn't scare you, Max. This is a keeper. Hello? Hey, honey. What? Oh, I didn't know you had to get groceries. Of course I'll come pick you up. Shit, where are my keys? That's a dollar for the swear jar. You mean your college fund? Aha! You can't hide from me forever. And no Chloe and Max wine tasting session. Dad, don't blow it. Damn. Tonight your mother promised to make us a world famous salmon surprise with chocolate cake for dessert. Max, you'll be here too, right? She's never leaving me. That makes all of us. Max, Bruh, the so roller coaster of emotions this game see. gives you. Chloe, I'm so sorry. I tried to make things different for you. I, I did try. I'm sorry. I don't know exactly what you're talking about, but come on. You have made things different, like my whole life. You're my best friend. I've got you and a great family. What's to be sorry for? We'll be best friends forever. And when we grow up, we're taking over the world. Listen, whatever happens, I want you to be strong. Even if you feel like I wasn't there for you. Because I will never abandon you, Chloe. I'll always have your back. Always. Yuck.
You're alive, yes. Shame but girl, what the fuck? Oh yeah, now you suddenly want to kiss me? You had your chance. Girl. I'm just, I'm just, I'm so glad you're here. You sound high, but thanks for the morning grope. Since we were up all night playing CSI Arcadia Bay, I was still spaced out here trying to put all this info together. Max, did you forget we've gone over this? I hope you weren't messing around with time while I was sleeping. Not anymore. I'm just spaced out too. Welcome back to the real world, Max. Let's look at the big board and see all our pieces in the... So close, yet so far away. We have to do three main things. Right. Uh, what things? One, decipher Frank's logbook. Two, get Nathan's phone to find out where he's been during the Vortex Club parties with Kate and Rachel. And see whatever hidden shit he's got in his messages. Three, beat step douche Dan until he tells us about Frank, Nathan, and the dark room. Too bad I don't have a gun anymore. Yes, that's the solution. We'll have to do this on our own. Dude, at least let me kick his ass, then rewind. <sighs> Fine, whatevs. It's your power. Which I can't waste on shit like that. Or Blackwell would be in big trouble. You didn't even let me take that money to pay Frank off. Girl. I'm glad. We have to be better than that. I know. You should get busy in the garage to see what dirt you can dig up. I'm gonna cyberstalk some names and see where that leads. Or to who. And be careful of Stepcrack. He's not going to be a happy camper after you reamed him yesterday and Mom is giving him the boot. I'm on it, partner. That's what I'm So you about to send me back down there? I can't. You won this battle, Max. You broke up my family. I salute you. David, I didn't try to hurt you, ever. But I won't let anybody hurt Chloe. Too late, isn't it? Better be damn careful with her. Don't you wander off into the dark. Like David finished his car repairs. Maybe there's some new clues around. That's crazy. That she actually said something to him. Text messages. Damn. We all know that's Nathan. I promise I'll help Miss Grant next time. If there is one. Surveillance cameras at Pan Estates? David must be working for the Prescotts too. There's more to David Madsen than meets the eye. He should finish this letter to Joyce. Oh, 
that makes me sad. It was so incredible to see William again. I wish Chloe could too. Oh, jeez. David is packing up wedding stuff too. Either Chloe stole another gun, or David is out there armed. Hmm. What the hell did David do for Nathan? And what did his dad do for David? I wonder if David is going to the party. That is a serious padlock on that lock. Right? The fuck? Hey, David, what you hiding? Score. Back to Chloe now. Yo, Chloe! Are you ready yet? I have to get back to my dorm. Are we happy? Very happy. I hit the secret file and Rachel. Plus some location coordinates. David is like a one-man surveillance army. Now let's get the hell out of here before we get busted. Now let's go find out what Nathan is hiding in his room. We have to be extra careful. Max, now it's time for Nathan Prescott to be afraid of us. Hey Max, how you doing? Oh, hi Mr. Jefferson. I'm okay. You gonna break up at it and put a photo hey, this yet? Is my friend Chloe. Yo. Chloe, why isn't somebody as cool as you going to Blackwell? I was way too cool for this school. It's a long story. In actual files here. <laughs> I can imagine. Max, are you sure that you're all right? It's weird just being on campus, like everything's normal. I know. Lame as it sounds, life has to go on. I think there's too much going on in my life. On that note, Blackwell duty calls. Remember, I'm going to announce the winner of the Everyday Heroes contest tonight at the party. So I hope you'll be there to celebrate. Even though I'm sorry you didn't enter a photo. I understand your reasons. You can't force an artist to work. I feel like a total loser, but it's been a hard week to focus. No pun intended. I'm proud of you for caring so much about a troubled friend. 
and I take hope in the fact that you have plenty of time to find your way. Just get in the habit of putting your work out there. Thanks, Mr. Jefferson. I'll definitely be there tonight. Me too. I'll be Max's date. <laughs> you better dance with us at least once. <laughs> Nobody should have to see me dance. Plus, you don't want to watch the old hipster trying to keep up with the kids. I have some pride. Be seeing you. Yes, you will. I'm weak, girl. Hot for teacher. Gross! You're out of control. Not yet. Just wait until the rager tonight. <sighs> Shut up. Don't be jealous because Mark Jefferson thinks I'm cool. I am so ignoring you. Fine. Since I'm here, I'll see if I can get some dirt from Justin. I haven't talked to him in a while. Now that is a great plan. Let's see if I can find out where Nathan is. Justin, it's been so long since I've seen you. Hey, Good thing I didn't let Chloe take that money from Principal Wells. So I hear. I had to clear away another batch of dead birds today. What the fuck? Makes me mad. That's so ironic that Warren asked Max to the drive-in. Hey, Brooke. How are you? Considering what happened to Kate, I could be better. Are you okay? I might feel better taking your drone for a quick flight. Miss Grant finally gave up and let me fly her again. But you're going to the drive-in with Warren, so you don't have time to fly my drone. Really? I can't fly your drone because I'm going to see ape movies with Warren. You are now, excuse me. My drone needs me. I should Talk have. to you later, Max. Bring it up. Enjoy the big game, Zachary. I hope it's not the last. No need to go there now. I feel like the sky wants to yell at us. How are you doing, Max? Been a tough week. I know. I think it's over war. Samuel. How are you? Sad and confused like everybody else in Arcadia Bay. You look like you have a lot of questions, too. More questions than answers. Samuel is always here to talk. Have you seen Nathan Prescott around? That would be hard since he was suspended. You don't sound sad, Samuel. Nathan hurts people. Hi, how are you? The end. What do you really know about him? Not enough to help you, Max. I truly wish I could. I see what you're doing. I'm sorry. I better get going now. Now, who can I ask? Hi, Miss Grant. Max, you always show up when I'm talking about you. And I swear. It's not about that petition you didn't sign. Girl, she stayed with her foot on my neck. I was looking for Nathan Prescott, and I thought he might be in your class. Mr. Prescott has no class at all after his suspension. I didn't think you were friends. <laughs> you probably know him better. I've tried. Nathan is a Prescott, and with that comes a lot of baggage. Too much for one teenager. This week was the proof. Principal Wells did the right thing. I know. Nathan needs real help. Yes, he does, Max. I did try once, but Mr. Prescott didn't appreciate my help. I did see Nathan leaving the campus looking angry yeah. than usual, so maybe it's good you haven't found him. I was hoping you could explain some of these crazy things happening in Arcadia Bay. If I could, I'd be collecting my Nobel Prize in science today. 
I haven't been able to wrap my mind around that eclipse. Yeah, she bring with a petition every oil. chance she get. There must be a scientific explanation, right? When my friends at NASA tell me they can't explain a solar eclipse without a single theory as to how or why, maybe it's time to get worried. Like they are. I am worried about reality. I feel like it's changing right in front of us. You and Samuel both. We were talking about that before you came over. Our planet is changing, but it's not mystic. It's erosion. You think that's why all these animals are dying here? Well, our shoreline has been receding, not to mention the daily contamination of the ocean. That's all you need to kill off sea and wildlife here, unless you know something I don't. I wonder if the Tabanga knows more than anybody here. Oh, Max, nobody even knows who brought the Tabanga here. It was likely stolen from the South Pacific by local fishermen. But I know what you're saying. There's a lot of energy here. I'm sorry, Miss Grant. I, I have to get going. I I'll see you later. It's always good talking to you, Max. Good. Nathan is not around. I should go back to Chloe. Coast is clear. It would be so cool if you and me were going to school here together. But now you can have Mr. Jefferson all to yourself. <laughs> oh, you suck. Now let's get into Blackwell Ninja mode. It's so lame, they don't have colored dorms here. Yes, because I want Nathan Prescott in the room next door. Good point. Wait here. Give me the signal if Nathan or anybody shows up. I won't let you down, Batmax. Now I just have to find Nathan's room. Oh, why, hello, Trevor. And Dana. Even after Kate, nobody here learned anything about bullying. Zach or <laughs> Logan? Who knows? Bro's got a bro. Clearly this is his room. This can only be Nathan's room. Damn, girl. Now I need to find Nathan's phone, or anything with clues. Oh. Dang. I don't think this prescription has helped, Nathan. Nathan is way into this party. Oh, bastard. Now I remember why I hate you. Sean Prescott might be Nathan's real problem. Too bad Nathan isn't more like his sister. She said, yes, Nathan sure needs diet pills. This is strong stuff. Wow. 
kiss ass much, Principal Wells. I'd cry too if I had him for a father and had to wear that suit. Ooh. Holy shit. That's the gun Nathan used on Chloe. A gift from... Nathan likes his tortured subjects way too much. Nathan took this from Kate's altar. Weird. Why? What is with this dude? Oh man, that dickhead stole one of my selfies. I don't think one book can guide the Prescotts. Damn, Nathan. It's so damn creepy, but the guy has his own style. That must be the lamp Chloe broke when Nathan drugged her. those marks on the floor this dude is weird that monochrome camera is brand new and cost about six grand <laughs> bastard he has everything that is so Chloe oh my god damn Chloe songs maybe this is the only soothing thing Nathan ever hears let's find out what you're hiding oh yes little phone you are mine now I have Nathan's phone, so I can show it to Chloe. Well, before Nathan comes back. Damn, Max, you're finally back. I got worried. So, what did you find? His room was clean and creepy. Check this out. Boom, Nathan. We got you by the balls, fucker. Oh. What are you doing in my dorm? You're such a nosy bitch, Max. Stop right there, Nathan. Make mm. me ho. What? <laughs> Max, I got this. Lower, here we go. Get the fuck out of my face. Damn. You are so fucking dead. <gasps> Get off me, bro. Nah, he deserved this shit. He he already hit like Warren before. Huh? Like Max? Like Kate? Like me? Huh? Feel this He deserved this. Damn. Get up on me. Please. Please stop. He's down. Hey, come on. Stop. Damn. <laughs> have to go. As he should. Who's the bitch now? Oh. Chloe! Damn, 
Warren went full alpha on Nathan. Dang it, I ain't rewinding and that it shit. Was good. Damn, that was intense. Warren, uh, th thank you so much. For what? For beating the shit out of Nathan Prescott? Dude, you rule. I don't know. I kind of went crazy there. Like Nathan. You're not anything like him. Good to know. Thanks, fine. You had to stand so up for where yourself. Are you going? I better stick with you guys. Just in case you need me to get my Hulk on again. <laughs> or should I call the cops on Nathan? No police. Not yet. Uh. So maybe you better. Um. Warren, me and Max have to do this on our own. No offense. It's cool. Whatever I can do to help. What you can do is find out anything you can about Nathan's father. I'm on it. Between the snow and eclipse, I'm assuming the apocalypse is around the corner. And thank you. Seriously. I'll call you later. You better. I'm feeling pretty alpha now. Yes. <laughs> you are. Man, that guy is so fucking in love with Wait. Right? I told y'all he on my body. He really did give a serious beat down to Nathan. It was a little scary to watch him do that. Now let's make a date with Frank. Will he even answer you? Frank always answers when he wants money. Like I said, Frank wants to see me right now. Let's not keep him waiting. <laughs> I hate seeing those poor whales like that. Me too. I just think of their families in the ocean out there looking for them. But aren't whales deadly? Oh, that's what oh my we want. Seriously. Obviously I'm not counting on you. That's why I have a gun. And I might even save you someday. About time. I am so going to hit you. There's no way we could have guessed this is what would happen to us when we grew up. I'm looking forward to the day when we can just go on a road trip to Portland. Fuck yeah. You, me, and Rachel. Absolutely. So let's play this cool, okay? Just talk to Frank so we can get that code for the book from him. That's all. Got it. No dicking around. Let's roll. Hmm. Frank doesn't need tinted windows when they're this dirty. <laughs> oh, look. The Wonder Twins. You should have come alone. She's my partner. Yeah, we're bodyguard. So let's get to business. Where's my fucking money? I... I don't have the money. Yet. Oh, really? Then why did you text me that you did? Because I wanted to tell you in person. Oh, I'm truly touched, Chloe. Now why are you losers really here? We just want to ask you some questions. You have some serious lady balls. No. Jesus, okay, <laughs> okay, but I'm not getting you high. I, I don't Frank, want it. We're not here to get high. No, you don't look like the type. Not like Chloe here. 
Huh? So what do you hardy boys want? Just the names of some of your clients. Oh, is that all? <laughs> oh, well, why didn't you just tell me? How about I just give you the keys to my RV while I'm at it? Help us. Or else. Are you actually threatening me again, little girl? No, no, I'm not. I... I... Oh, Christ, I hate you, Blackwell. Shit. You expect everything for free. You're not getting any handouts from me. I work for a living, you understand? Yes, Frank. Without those Blackwell shits as customers, you wouldn't have any work at all. Dude, you're a drug dealer. You snobby whores. Don't come into my home and judge me. That's why I go to church. And you want something from me? How about a blade up the ass, huh? Calm down, Frank. Let's just talk. Don't you ever tell oh. me to do. Get it, bitch! Get it! Step the fuck back now! <laughs> Papadou! You fucking killed my dog! That, that, that one left too quick. I, I, shot a man and his dog I killed Frank Bowers you saved my life Chloe. nah they it gotta be rewinded nah Max Frank is really dead I know but we can't stop now we have to find that code first <laughs> before the co cops come That's it. Let's get out of here. Sorry, Frank. I'm sorry. Jesus. Chloe actually killed Frank. She'll never forgive herself. Or forget this. And only I can change it. I probably shouldn't have threat threatened him. That's where. Listen, Chloe. I can tell you for a fact that this will not go well. Max, I should have known you would be kind and rewind. So tell me exactly what I need to do here. I ain't gonna get rid of the gun because he still have a gun. We just gotta watch how we talk Please to him. Watch your mouth. You have no social skills here, and you will piss off Frank immediately. You kind of love this, don't you? Fine, I'll try being like you for a change, or how you used to be. Oh look, the Wonder Twins. You should have come alone. She's my partner. Yeah, or bodyguard. So let's get to business. Where's my fucking money? I... Frank, uh, your dog is kind of scary. Could you please close the RV door? You aim your gun at me, but you're scared of my dog. That figures. Okay, there, you're safe. Now, what do you want? Just the names of some of your clients. Oh, is that all? Listen, Frank, I'm sorry to be such a nuisance, but this is important. Yeah, yeah, everything's important these days. But I can tell you're not bullshitting me. 
There's no time for that, Frank. I, I just need a little bit of information. Yeah, yeah, well, it always starts with just a little. And Chloe here knows all about that, don't you? Come on, Frank, this isn't about me. Girl, yeah, please right. come, come down, come down. Both of you are giving me a headache. No deal. Frank, we didn't come here to fight. This is so much bigger than us. Oh, yeah, you didn't come here to fight. A day after, you pulled a fucking gun on me. I... I am so sorry about that. It might be the dumbest thing I've ever done. And I've done a lot of dumb things this week. Finally, I believe you. But don't ever aim a gun at anybody unless you intend to kill. Although you don't look like you could kill a bug. I... I try not to. And I never would have pulled the trigger. I was just... Dude, she was scared, all right? You pulled your blade on me. We were all freaked out. Now we're all cool. Please? Okay. We're cool for now. But my dog is... And if you try any shit, he will bite your head off. He's done it before. We're only here to talk. I wouldn't mess with... Your dog just got clapped shit, a few, a few minutes ago, but okay. You like dogs? I love dogs. Period. I wish I had one trained as well as yours. Yeah, he had a bad trainer before. Real bad. But he's dead now. And I trained Pompidou how to be my friend. That's very cool, Frank. Your dog is lucky you came along. Maybe we can focus on rescuing Rachel now? Rachel? Is that why you're really here? Yes. We're so close to finding her now, Frank. We need all the help we can get now. Especially from you. You and Chloe do not know Rachel like I did, and I couldn't even help her. You're in way over your heads. Why don't you just go play in your clubhouse? Rachel said she gave you one of her favorite photos. That proves how much she cares. And you care. That's why you have to help. How the hell did you know about that photo? That's my favorite picture of her. I can look at it any time and she'll always be there for me. I can't stand not knowing where she is. Not hearing her voice or her laugh anymore. We can change all that. It's up to you. Help us find her, Frank. Please. We really need your client list. Well, if there's a chance in hell you two dorks can find Rachel. Yeah, I'll take it. My dog isn't barking at you, so I guess that's a good sign. Thank you. You won't regret it. Thank you. Yeah, thanks, Frank. Seriously. It's hard to take you characters seriously, but I want to. Good luck. <laughs> Shout out to that rewind, guys. <laughs> that was cool. Frank gave up the code to help us. Rachel must have seen something good in him. Chloe, are you okay? I'm glad things worked out okay with Frank. It's nice to have one less enemy in Arcadia Bay. Amen to that. I better focus on this board and start tying. Gather info on a character by selecting all the. Thanks to David's own investigation, 
I should be able to find out what Nathan did during the party's week. Wait, what? Of course, I'm a suspect. <laughs> Proving David sucks as a detective. Sorry. Does David know what's going on with Rachel or is he just paranoid about everybody? Linky, thanks for the sub to Christina. Not Christina, Lord. Chrissy. Hmm. Maybe he was trying to help Kate in his own messed up way. David should have done way more than take photos of Kate. I have some nerve after I took the picture. Okay, so this is like goddamn math. Looks like David was tracking somebody's car. Maybe even Nathan's. Good clue. Let's look at Frank's drug deals during the week of the party. Frank is for sure the local dealer, but I, I doubt Rachel was carrying drugs for him. So, what happened to Rachel after this? She dumped Frank, but I don't think he would hurt her. There's no doubt she loved him in some way. Maybe Rachel took a road trip with Frank, but she did come back. I just like Chrissy if somebody has a, a nickname I want to call them that some people don't like being called there that's why I took back the whole Christina thing some people dead like if they have a nickname you call them that and that be that so I didn't know they were but Frank couldn't keep Rachel or protect her I bet I could suss out some major clues in Frank's account book if I could decipher the damn code names I have to analyze Nathan's messages what could help me unlock this phone There's a lot of numbers in here. Yeah, so I'm gonna definitely take that. Um, this is the Vortex Club party where Nathan drugged Kate. Did he do the same thing to Rachel at another party? Holy shit. Nathan is seriously unhinged. But those numbers might be useful. All oh, so busted. It's good to see the Prescotts can't cover up all their tracks. So I'm gonna take this, the student file. If there is a dark room, we better find it. It's a good thing Chloe slipped all these files on her flash drive. Couldn't hurt to give this pin code a whack. 
Okay, Max. Let's blow this code up and go home. Look at all these license plates. I hope he was tailing Nathan. You need to get rid of these damn cameras, David. David really has been on Rachel's ass for a while. She should have been upset. You're treading water, Otter. Try again. Damn. Girl. I, I must have missed something. I'll have to analyze these plates and coordinates to see if Nathan was under David's surveillance. Spies are us. Fail. Abort. Wrong clues. Time to scan my back Max, I know we can snap all these pieces together. Roger that. I'm gonna study the board and try to connect all these dots. This is not working. This is like goddamn math. I suck. I could use that code we got from Frank to figure out the code names in the account book. Uh, oh, here it is. Looks like this is not relevant at all. Isn't that the code? Because this is the account book. Oh no. What's this? Rot must stand for Rottweiler. That does fit Nathan. Yes, the game is on. Now. Talk to us, account book. Tell us everything. Let's see if I can find any deal Frank made with Nathan or the Vortex Club. Okay, Max. Remember these names and see how Nathan fits in with all this. Wait, no, I'll be in the look. If Frank applied this kind of detail to his life, damn. Who am I to talk? Everybody in Arcadia Bay must be high. That explains a lot.
Frank sure is keeping his customers satisfied. He could open a store. Hmm. Two deals with Nathan on the same day? Party supplies, no doubt. I'm getting a contact high just reading this. I wonder what dog name Frank would have given me. Wait, hold on. No. If Nathan did drug Kate, he must have gotten the drugs from Frank. Looks like this isn't the right combination. Damn. This is like goddamn math. Cause I suck. It's definitely hold on. It definitely has to be this one, cause. That's probably the Vortex Club one. Hi. Let me look at this one again. No, I'm gonna take the, probably take that one out. Hold on, let me look at this paper again. Cause y'all. Oh, the chat. I just caught on. The pet names is the things on the deals. Dumb. Okay. Rot is Nathan. Okay, so let me look at this paper again. Okay, so that's one he did that day. None on this day. None on this day. What's his, what's his obsession with dogs? Okay, so one this day, so select. Uh, none on that day. And one on this day. Start hacking. Okay, so let me go back to this nine five three five. Okay, so. Oops, 
bad code. I know it's not one 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 because he was. <sighs> yeah, I knew it wouldn't be that easy. Let me go back and look. City of Bird Fort, Lauderdale, Florida. Oh, he from Broward, like Josh. Let me go back at this paper. Uh, three nine eight eight. You locked it, dumbass. Oh, okay, wait. Let me go back. Cause who remembering all that? I can't remember that. Okay, so it's eight, seven. Oh, hold on, let me press read. Like Chrissy said, eight, seven, eight, nine, seven, eight, oh, eight. Why did I hit quit? I started hacking. Is that enough numbers? Hold on. It literally said it. Oh, I was missing the, uh, I was about to say. Find out what Nathan Prescott has been trying to hide. What's up? Need a G, okay. Yes. This is oh, Nathan was jonesing hard the night of the party. He didn't have enough drugs. drug dealer drama. God, Nathan. You're out of control. I guess I was going to say, what? Like... So it was you. Now I can officially call you a psycho stalker. No, Nathan. It's time for you to watch out. Asshole. Is this from Nathan's father? That's brutal. Mm. All right, let me. Thanks to David's own investigation, I should be able to find out what Nathan did during the party's week. That's all she wrote. Please let me find some clues about Nathan. What's up, Nathan? 
I'm so glad. Great. Now, how do I find out which car is Nathan? Whoa. Seems to match the coordinates. Yep, another car David was tracking. Why the hell are you following these people? And to where? Okay, so twin PK. Of course, Nathan drives an SUV. Overcompensating, as usual. There's Nathan dealing to the kids right out in the open. I'm glad Warren got his revenge. Hmm. Who does this car belong to? Wow, sir. This looks like an expensive machine. Interesting. Is this Nathan's car? That's definitely Chloe's car. Not working. Come on, deduce Nathan's license plate number, then match it up with the coordinates. Who else was David tracking here? This literally the one. Max, there is no logical link between those clues. Looks like this isn't the right combination. Okay, Nathan's taillight is busted. And I'm pretty uh. sure I saw that on one of the license plate photos. Come on, I'm trying to look over here. Oh, I gotta deselect. This picture looks. Oh, yes. Now finally. we're finally getting somewhere. Joel. Take a breath, Max. I'm about to sit down. This Go shit. This oh, my God. You can find out where Nathan took Kate after the party. Damn.
hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. So, this infamous party was the fourth. Okay, so the fourth. So now we need to look at, uh, all the text messages on the fourth. So that's the 30th. The 7th. <clears throat> The seventh, the fourth, Rottweiler Boondocks. So we are gonna look, select that one for now, just so we know that that one was the fourth. Frank meeting Nathan at the junkyard? That beach is like Frank's main office. I know Nathan wasn't looking for Bigfoot in the forest. Somebody is stocking up on gas. Why? If Joyce knew what Nathan did to Chloe, Oh, that has to be the Prescott estate. Poor rich Nathan. Not much out there. 10.56 p.m. No doubt that Nathan stays in his dorm room. Okay, so what? So he could be hiding clues there, too. 11 p.m. Definitely here. Chloe, this is definitely the place. Let me, let's keep searching and find out who owns this haunted barn. I'm on this, hold on. Somebody named Harry Aaron. Of course, a Prescott. Prescott. I'm shocked. Should we call the police? Fuck that. You know the police here are like Nathan's private security, right? That's so messed up. As you've noticed, this whole town is messed up. We can't trust anybody except each other. So we have to go out to that farmhouse by ourselves. <coughs> I was afraid you'd say that. We could call Warren since he kicked Nathan's ass. It's just the two of us, nobody else. And I'm not scared at all. You, you ain't scared what I am. I feel like we're this close to finding Rachel. We have to find her, Max. We will. But remember, my power isn't infinite. We still have you to- You told her this her. earlier, but look what happened. Do you hear, Chloe? Yes, sir. Took out Frankie and his dog and had to fix that shit. Here, let's go find the best way in. Whoa, check this out. Fresh tire tracks. Dude, somebody was just here. Then we need to get in that barn. Now, 
Why would somebody run all that electricity into an old empty barn? Watch us. Girl, what? Yeah, watch us do something illegal. Watson, we can safely assume that this ancient vehicle is not our suspect. door come on oh yes maximus rules god this is way too blair witch i have goosebumps all over come on supermax hey check out this old chest a little louder chloe Jeez, that is ancient. Jackpot. Old shit. No, uh, look closer. Harry, Aaron, Prescott, and family donate new library to Arcadia Bay. Prescott Industries celebrate grand opening. The Prescott's bring bomb shelter boom to town. My scrapbook. You search for more clues and I'll scope out the area. Prescott clippings. But that can't be the only thing here. This tractor has paid its dues. Okay, there's no reason for anybody to drive out here. But there must be. I guess the Prescotts were just born bastards. about home on the range. There's no way this rusty ass button will activate these ropes or pulleys. Zombie shows up, I have my weapon. Huh. These hooks are used to lift haystacks. I saw them in a Friday the 13th movie. Ah, the good old days. So many haystacks, so few needles. So many haystacks, so few needles. Even Harry Aaron Prescott was into selfies. Chloe would make a great detective too.
scope out the perimeter, Max. There has to be more here than this crate. Wow, sir. Talk about home on the range. Where is the entrance? <sighs> Nothing here. No, Supermax. You can't open this with your bare hands. Where's the uh, pitchfork? Okay, Chloe. Um, I, I found some kind of hatch, but it's locked. I got this. I hope. Let me know the second you need any help. I should go upstairs and get Chloe to help me. of info here. Chloe, can you give me a hand? Sidekick at your service. Up, up and away, Supermax. I dig having minions. Looks sturdy enough to stand on. Nope. I can't pull this rope without tearing my flesh off. I need to hook this up to something heavier. Oh. Yo, this camera work. The perimeter, Max. Max Giver strikes again. Oh no. Jackpot. Oh no. 
Do I even need to say how weird this is? He just did. Who built this kind of place? A press god, of course. <sighs> Chat. Life is indeed strange. Because what the fuck was going on down there? Because what the fuck? The only time I've seen shit like this is in movies. The shit that I know that go down and shit like this is bad shit. This bunker is so surreal. Hold on. First a padlock, then a digicode? Someone really doesn't want visitors. Okay, so I got down here, but where am I supposed to know this code from, Trey? Did I miss something? Oh my God, what? Did I miss it? Just you said I'm right there. Sesame. <laughs> Stocked and ready for the apocalypse. This must have cost a fortune. Come on. No 
What the hell is this? Mm -hmm. I guess Nathan needs the most expensive printer in the world. Oh, that son of a bitch. Sheesh. What? Come on, let's see what this shit is all about. We are. Okay, a binder marked Victoria, but it's empty. Look, the next one says Kate. Oh no, Kate. No, God, I should have killed that bastard back there. Kate wasn't the first. Ew. All those binders are filled with other victims. <sighs> Victoria has to be next. Nathan must be planning to dose her tonight at the Vortex Club party. Rachel. Ugh. This can't be real. These are all, these are all post shots, right? Right? Chloe, look at her face. She's out of it. Maybe, maybe Nathan paid her a shitload of cash to do this. She probably would have. I don't think so. Why is he putting is her on the ground like that? Where? The junkyard. Max, we have to find that spot now. Then, then we can see what he did. There's no way she's dead. No way. She posed for those pictures, Max. I know it. Please, let's go. I was oh saying, shouldn't God. we put this back? Rachel. Kate. Oh yeah, school suspension is a deal breaker in the Prescott family. No. Oh, oh yeah, no. school suspension is a deal breaker in the Prescott family. This picture is framed different. Rachel is awake and fucking furious. Rachel is passed out and she has something in her mouth. What happened to her? This shot is so staged. I, I, I can't believe it's real. I can't. Kate looks so doped up. She has no idea she's being posed. At least Kate was asleep through all this bullshit. Duct tape in a bunker is always a bad sign. Dang, I can't rewind to put it back. I ain't gonna know somebody was here. Mm -mm. Damn. Oh, she ain't playing games. Chloe, slow down. Wait for me. I know exactly where I'm going. Look, this is it. This is it. Are you going to help me, Max? Chloe, stop! Look. Please, no. Oh! oh that smell! Rachel! Oh. oh, Rachel, no, no! Please, not her! <laughs> Chloe. I'm sorry, Chloe. I'm so sorry. 
I loved her so much. How can she be dead? What kind of world does this? What? Who does this? That's crazy. Maybe them rich weird kids that don't got no lives don't think they can get away with everything. Nathan enjoys his last party. Chloe, we can go right to the cops. We have proof. Fuck the police. She brought the empty to us to find her. So we could get real justice and revenge. The Prescotts have had this coming for a hundred years, and nobody is gonna get in my way. Especially with your help. Right? What, what, what am I supposed to do? I'm with you to the end, Chloe. You know that. Oh my god. Oh shit. This is like that eclipse. You're right. Look at the outline. I can't tell if they're different. What is that? It can't be too much. Jesus, moved. Chloe, look up at the sky. Possible. Beautiful. I don't give a shit. The world is ending. Cool. You're not listening. Something major is going down. That's right. Nathan Prescott is going down. Welcome to the end of the world, ladies. <gasps> Warren. I'm glad you decided to escort me. You look really good, Warren. Are you all right after today? I really flipped out on Nathan. I just hate bullies. And Max. He's dangerous. Where is he? I didn't see him at the dorm again. I was held up in my room. Dude, have you been drinking? Well, if you consider half a beer drinking. Let's go, Max. Hey, hey. I know this is a bad time, but can I get one picture? I've been feeling like this might be actually the end of the world, so I want to have something for prosperity. Well, I don't blame you, Warren. I know, I know. I'm pain in the booty. Just one picture. Uh... Action. We've got no time for this shit. Come on, Poor Max. Warren. Sorry. I just wanted to feel like a normal student after this week's ultra-violence. I never hit anybody like that. <laughs> I know, right? Chrissy, that's I what I was, was thinking. I was the one getting my ass kicked. That's how you know he don't drink. We still need your expert help. If you see Nathan, text me immediately, okay? And do not let him see you. He won't. I know how to be invisible here. Not to me, Warren. Text soon. Where the hell are you? Ugh, I hate touching all these clothes. It is kind of nasty. Plus, some of the Vortex Club always give me attitude. Uh, hi, Stella. Hey, Max. Welcome to the end of the world. Do you want me to check anything in? Uh, no thanks, Stella. 
Have you seen Nathan yet? No, thank God. That boy creeps me out. Stella off of Wait, some girl just asked about Nathan before Look you Look at her ass. What girl? She had blue hair, dressed like a punk. I've seen her putting up those Rachel Amber posters. I'm stuck here, so I'm sorry I can't help you. So why are you working at a Vortex Club party? I didn't think you wanted to be a member. Screw that. I'm here for the job. Who hired you? Mr. Jefferson asked me because he knows I don't have a lot of money, even with my job and scholarship. I'm not cool enough for this school. Yes, you are, Stella. You're smart your ass for Blackwell. I hope everything turns out. I really appreciate that. Hey, your face looks so intense. Are you okay? Uh, no, I'm actually not okay. I, I just need to find Nathan. And don't get too close if you see him. Hell no. This is homework, not a party. I'll text you if I spy him. Good luck. Hold on. Nah. What is this? Oh, I'm shocked to see you tonight, Matt. But you deserve a party. We need to find Nathan and take him down. This party needs a drone. Hello, Brooke. Max, I didn't expect to see you at a Vortex Club party. I didn't expect that either, but I really need to find Nathan. Have you... No, I haven't seen him. And I'm not looking for him, so I most likely won't tonight. I just hate that scrub. And his club. Then why are you here? So, why are you here tonight? No homework? Boredom? Waiting? Have you seen Warren tonight? Why? You're the one going out with him. Brooke, enough! I, I am sorry Warren asked me to the movies. But you don't need to give me an attitude. I'd like to think I'm your friend. I know. Girl. I get salty when things don't go my way. I'm selfish while you go on a roof to help save Hey, Shanti, how are you? I'm good. You're not selfish, Brooke. You're just trying to live your life without all this bullshit. Like all of us here. You seem so wise and kind of invincible this week. I think that snow and eclipse gave you superpowers. Check to see if you can fly. Only with your drone. By the way, did you see that crazy double moon out there earlier? Max, if I saw a double moon out there, I would assume it really was the end of the world. Well, the night is still young, Brooke. And so are we, Max. So let's plan a drone date next week. Yeah, cause quit giving me that energy of a warn. Like, girl, be so fucking for real. There is no niggas at Justin this party. Said somebody saw two moons outside. Why, Justin? <laughs> energy drinks, soda, energy drinks. I know somebody has the booze. I'd pay money to see Warren kicking Nathan's ass. Luke, I almost I just didn't see wish you. You're the only person I don't mind seeing right now. I was looking for Nathan. I've avoided almost everybody here tonight. Uh, why are you looking for Nathan? No big deal. Really? You look pretty fucking intense. Is Nathan bothering you? Oh wait, I did see Nathan today. Nursing a busted face. I had dreams that somebody finally kicked his ass. Well, Luke, sometimes dreams come true. Warren gave him an epic beatdown. Yes! Give it up for brother Warren! Now all we have to do is drive all these goddamn Prescott vampires out of town. I think Sean Prescott wants to drive all of us out of town. Or into Pan Estates. 
I met him once at a Bigfoots game. Mean fucking bastard. Oh, <laughs> man, he explains, Nathan. Preach it, Brother Luke. Okay, I have to get going. Um, thanks for seeing me. No, thank you. No, for helping Kate. And for keeping it real. Peace out. No one seems to know where Nathan is. Is he hiding or something? Damn. to protect me from another humiliating moment. Thank you, Max. Period, girl. Hold on. I'm surprised to see you here. Alyssa, I have to find Nathan. Have you seen him? I really don't know, but surely in the VIP section, like it's a New York club. Thanks, Alyssa. Watch out for yourself. Why, when I have Max Caulfield at my side? Girl, I'm not going to always be here. Look at this dance in chat. Oh, my God. Excuse me, but I'm going in. Sorry, but this is the VIP section. Members only. Okay? Sorry, mm -hmm. I'm on the list. Okay? I know that Max Caulfield is not on any list for the Vortex Club. Nice try. Listen. No, you listen. Courtney is supposed to be the VIP gatekeeper, not me. So please go. I need to find a way to enter this bullshit club. So not impressed by this VIP crap. Excuse me, but I'm going in. God, are you mental? You can't come in. Bit. Um. <laughs> right, Trey. Like, what the fuck? Look at this. I'm at my first and only Vortex Club party. I know. This week was so shitty that I just wanted to be around a bunch of people trying to have a good time. Even if I hate most of them. Victoria doesn't seem to hassle you like she does me. Or Kate. She must know I'd punch her in the face. Mm -hmm. I probably should just for Vortex Club posterity. No doubt. Um, but I actually have to go now. I'll talk to you later, Alyssa. Why isn't Courtney guarding the list for the VIP section? Hmm. So do I. What would a shitty party be without glow sticks? Why isn't Courtney guarding the list for the VIP section? How do I? Uh... 
Oh. Hey, Max. Oh, what are you doing in shit? here? If I get yo maximum overdrive, about time you got here to save this lame rave. <laughs> Want to get ripped? Uh, you look pretty ripped already, Justin, and not happy. Why did you even come tonight? Where else could I go in Arcadia Bay on a Thursday night? Besides, Dana is here, just not with me. So yes, this party sucks. Speaking of, have you seen Nathan? Oh, he should be freaking out in the VIP lounge with that whore text club. Fucking hate those snobby douchebags. Especially Nathan. That dude is gonna go on a rampage soon. You might be right, so stay away from him tonight, okay? Spread the word. Max, I know I'm twisted, but your face looks so fucking intense. And your voice sounds different. You okay? Oh, wait. How about a quick dab? Uh, no, I'm I'm cool, Justin, and I have to get going. Maybe you should go chill somewhere else. Fucking a, Maximus. You're right. I'm only torturing myself here. Plus, I'm too loaded. <laughs> it's time to get my board and grind. Everclear. Hello? Can you please hurl and flush already? Yes! You've been vomiting for like an hour! I'm never leaving this toilet! Maybe you're not the only one. Which one is these? Oh, last Vortex Club party! If you don't wrap oh, no. it up, we're coming, not again. sister! Ugh. Ugh. Somebody said, fine, Courtney, where the fuck she at? Let's make detailed plans later, okay? Oh, I look right at her ass. Hey, Courtney, how are you? Max, our guest star arrives fashionably late. <laughs> Say bonsoir to the end of the world. Even though you flaked on my party makeover, you still get special access to the Vortex Club VIP lounge. You better let your minion know since she won't let me pass. Oh, that little asshole just made her last Oh, mistake. fucking weak. She thinks she's Victoria. <laughs> bye bye Hey, Sarah. Um, do you know that I personally put Max's yeah. name on the list? So, you, like, decide to block her from coming in while I'm taking a break? <laughs> you're not in charge here. Wait, I, I just... Uh, yeah, oh look at... You're done. And you're off the list permanently. Look at that fucking hair. Welcome to the Vortex Club. I know Max probably feel bad, but nah. Her her split ends gotta go. Nathan is the Vortex Club. So his ass has to be here tonight. That oxygen kit might come in handy if somebody binges. 
photo is very powerful. But we'll see. Victoria, your picture so has to win. I know Victoria is next. Uh, did... I'm Sorry, Max. Trying not Vortex to. Club oh, members only. I Sorry. I'm on the guest list. Nice. I'm taking you off. Go fuck yourself, me, Victoria. I don't have time for this bullshit. Real cute, Max. You still pissed about me taking your picture? Do you even have a clue what's going on at Blackwell? Kate Marsh killed herself in front of you and me, everybody here. That's not my fault, Max. Don't you even try to blame me. I don't blame you, Victoria, but you know Kate had a church group and that she didn't party. So why did you send out that video? Oh, God. I swear we weren't even going to do it. Then we had some wine and got stupid. It's more than stupid. It's mean, hateful. Kate never did anything to you. And that didn't stop you from taking one last video of her on the roof. I deleted that from my phone. Max, I saw Kate Marsh die. I swear it didn't feel real to me. I kept thinking, did I cause this? Did I? I felt like shit ever since. I believe you, Victoria, but I don't understand you. That makes both of us, Max. I always feel like I have to overcompensate. For what, I have no clue. I'm only here to become a photographer, not president. Damn, you suck talent, crazy. <laughs> you don't have to push people out of your way. You don't understand. My parents own a gallery. I know how this art game has to be played. It's brutal. No, it's it's art. You don't have to play their way. Mr. Jefferson doesn't talk that way, and, and he's famous. Yeah, Mr. Jefferson probably won't be choosing my photo. I'm not as talented as I thought. Yes, you are. But we shouldn't have to choose between talent and kindness. I hope. Hard to believe, but I don't always make the best choices. Do you think it's like fate we're not supposed to be friends? Good. I have real friends. Oh! I wouldn't want a fake one. You try to act like all shy and humble. You took a picture of me covered in paint. Who do you think set up the paint can to fall? It wasn't Samuel, dumbass. And you trashed my room after, so stop whining. You did that? You bitch. You could have killed me with that fucking can. I almost got that freak Samuel fired. And that would have been bad. You're right, Victoria, for once. You actually think you're better than me. No fucking way. Guess I'll never be a member of the Vortex Club. No, bitch, you won't. <sighs> Victoria, enough of this high school bullshit. We're adults now. So listen to me. Your life is in serious danger. I know you're close to Nathan, but he is truly unstable and dangerous. He did drug Kate at that party so he could take her someplace. Dark. Oh my god. And I'm the drama queen? Touché. But I am not fucking around here. Sorry, but no. No way. I should have let her. Like one of my best friends. Yes, he takes serious meds, but that's not his fault. His family treats him like a total freak just because he has little meltdowns. They're not little anymore. They're deadly. I, I don't care if you hate me or not, but you have to believe me. I don't believe anything you say. You're full of shit. Oh, hi, I'm Max Caulfield, and I'm so sensitive that butterflies make me cry. Now, will you listen? No, I won't. Well, go get your ass put in the binder, then. I don't care. You didn't enter a photo in the contest and that Mr. Jefferson is going to pick me. A real artist would have busted ass to win, but you just want to take your little retro selfies. That is so fucking lame and lazy, Max. Just go find a community college. <gasps> Victoria, please don't do this. Especially after what happened with Kate. Can't you see I'm serious? That's your problem, Max. 
This is a party, and it's the end of the world, so I am going to get so wasted, even you won't bother me anymore. I'll let Nathan know if he finally shows up. Adios. Au revoir. Okay, I tried. I mean, she's not gonna believe me over her Vortex Club partner. There you are. Chloe, Nathan isn't here. Nobody has seen him tonight. He's definitely not upstairs or in the lockers. Damn. Maybe he's hiding in his dorm. Then let's bail. Nathan can't hide anymore. So, you made it, Max. Oh, uh, hey, Mr. Jefferson. <laughs> Are you both okay? You look like you're on a, a mission. Oh, uh, I was just looking for Nathan. Uh-huh. I didn't know you were pals with him. I haven't seen him since this afternoon. He he seemed pretty upset. I think he's still quite upset over the, uh, the whole Kate situation. Yeah, that makes sense. Let's talk later, Max. I have to announce the winner of the contest. I do wish you would have entered. You have to build up that resume and portfolio, but I know you will. Thanks. I hope so. Okay, excuse me. I'm almost on. Let's get the hell out of here, Max. Okay, okay. everybody calm down. Thank you. Oh, Thank you. I, I appreciate it. I, I don't want to get in the way of the party, but it's time to announce the winner of the Everyday Heroes Contest. Before I do, I want to thank everybody who entered their photograph and everybody who thought about entering. Now this is the most important step in being an artist. Sharing your work with the world. All of you represent Blackwell Academy and everything our school stands for. As far as I'm concerned, you're all everyday heroes. The envelope, please. And the winner is... Come on! Oh my, what a shocker. Victoria Chase. Boo! Thank you so much, Mr. Jefferson. <laughs> It was your incredible photography that brought me to Blackwell, and I hope I can live up to your name and fame. I also want to thank all the students for being so- Get off the stage, you me. suck. We don't like you. Boo! I'd like to dedicate this prize to the memory of Kate Marsh. You didn't even like her. She was the real everyday hero of Blackwell. Thank you. <laughs> exactly. Victoria won. Big surprise. I can't believe she blackmailed Jefferson. Well, yes, I can. Who fucking cares? Rachel is still dead, and I want Nathan's punk ass now. Me too. Let's go check out the dormitories. Like, I tried to warn her ass. So whatever happens. Nathan just texted me. What? He says there won't be any evidence left after he's done. Shit. We have to go to the junkyard right now. What? Getting too much, bro. This is getting too much. Why didn't y'all? Well, y'all want y'all not supposed to tell me, but like this is too much. Stop. Just get ready to use your rewind fast if Nathan tries to jump us. Just wait, what the fuck? Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. I'm scared. Nathan, you better rewind so I can kill him over and over. Oh, Bang, for Chloe. God's sake, Chloe, you have to be quiet. We could die, okay? I'm so scared. Come on, come on. Nathan needs to die now. Look, we can't try. 
track Nathan if you're not going to be cool. Where the fuck did she go? Are you okay? We need to hurry and get that motherfucker. Maybe we should have called the police. Right? I don't want to go that way. I was about to say, where'd she go? Turn around, okay. Oh, I hate this place. Oh, fuck no. Maybe we should have called the police. <gasps> Shit. Oh, I see you. <laughs> You're gonna suffer, Nathan. I'm already pan. I'm already panicking. Calm down. I I'm like, what is? What, what's about to happen? Prepare oh, myself. Look, she's still there. Don't look, Chloe. What? What? That's crazy. That that is crazy. That is crazy. That is crazy. All right, I need I need to gather myself. Cause what? Whole time I'm thinking, oh oh Nathan about to show up. Like, Mr. Jefferson. But then that makes so much sense because if Nathan was doing the shit, then how was he in the photos with them? Obviously, but if he made Nathan makes a good scapegoat. Cause I was thinking, how is Nathan in the photos if he was taking the photos? If he looked knocked out his damn self. <sighs> My head, y'all, like what? My head is spinning. Okay, so. I was in the majority. I accepted Chloe's request. I was in the minority, letting Warren beat up Nathan. But he was a he was a bully. What the fuck? Uh, no one got hurt, so I was with the majority. Didn't believe Victoria. Didn't believe my warning. I guess because I accidentally hit that one prompt that set her off. She probably would have believed it if I didn't say that. Um, majority, I let the Blue Jay die. Didn't disturb the bird's nest. Majority found the code. Um, K 
Kate didn't help. Uh, you didn't motivate Daniel to attend uh, Vortex Club. 80% didn't leave a message on Warren's slate. You didn't figure out Nathan's pin code. Again, I helped Alyssa. 